with world class, you end up bringing in Missy Hyatt, right? I mean, how did that happen? I guess you guys were dating and you brought her into the business. Are you the one that brought her into wrestling? Well, um, we had met in Atlanta, Georgia, when I was living with Michael, learning how to wrestle. Um, We had met there. And just ironically, she was related to um, General Homer Odell. don't know if that name's familiar to you, but he was a long, old-timer manager. And he said that she wanted to meet me, and we met. And pretty much that was it. You know, she obviously wanted to be in the business or a pretty girl like that probably wouldn't have wanted anything to do with me. Um, But um, we became girlfriend and boyfriend and I was offered a job in Texas. And um, of course she came with me. And when the office saw her, um, they said, well, what's up with her? Would she be interested in being a valet? And I said, man, you don't know how interested she'd be. And uh, it just overnight, they said, uh, we had a, a meeting with Fritz in that office at the Sportatorium. And he asked her, you know, uh would you like to do it? And it would, he kind of gave her the bad side of what wrestling is about. Um, and of course she was happy to what she wanted to do. And I was happy because it was double pay. And, uh, you're always happy with that. Um, uh, getting paid double. Not to mention, when I got with her, I moved up the pay scale rapidly. What happened with, John, you and Missy? I guess you went to UWF for a while. You did did well down there. You and Jack Victory were teaming. You went there fantastic. Then you had that feud with Eddie Gilbert. So I guess that sort of led to the breakup with you and Missy. Yeah, Missy and I weren't. Uh, relationship. We had been together a long time, and it wasn't a gr- a good relationship. Just business. And um, Eddie, uh, who we traveled with every day, you know, he just came. I, it was really kind of out of the blues. Uh, the sky. I mean, I had no idea. He just came to me like a man and said, "Hey, you know." I like your uh, woman, and um, she likes me, and we want to be together. And I said, hey, you know, awesome. You know, I appreciate you coming to me like a man and telling me. Um, And that's exactly what happened. You know, pretty much she, uh, we had a, a condo in Dallas or in Arlington actually but she uh, went and packed up her stuff and moved in with Eddie and I you know we still work just fine you know uh, Eddie and I tried to put a little program together where of course he got the girl and it was a chance for me to turn baby face because he stole my girl. But um, that really didn't work. You know, the people, in all honesty, I've, I've never been a baby face. I got over more than a baby face be, be, being a heel. People love the, the bad guys. Um, they don't want to admit it, but... Uh, They, when Eddie, when I beat the shit out of Eddie, you know, they just didn't have the same reaction as when I was a bad guy doing it. 
So we pretty much squashed that pretty quick. And um, uh, I was in a automobile accident um, that pretty well put me out of wrestling for a couple of years. Um, and, uh, you know, Missy and Eddie just went into the oblivion and did their thing. Uh, 